what is going on everybody so i'm going to be talking about this camping story that was told to me when i was younger and now from my experience i'm from trinidad and tobago so there's a lot of creepy stories that are being told it's like a little tradition and stuff like that i mean if you're from trinidad you'll know i mean it's not like trinidad is the only place that tells scary stories or camp stories so for the time i was like maybe 13 15 ish somewhere around there and this story just really creeped me out and we rented this camping area well we basically bought some of the land just so we could camp there and there's other people that are all around nearby and stuff like that it was a whole little i guess you could say a little community wrapped around it but during this story it was around probably 1 a.m we were lighting s'mores up making well making s'mores and stuff like that so there was this one story and it's called a lady vampire but the real name for it is called sukanya and i'll read you the definition the definition is a shape-shifting caribbean folklore character who appears as a reclusive old woman by day but by night she strips off her wrinkled skin and puts it in a mortar in her true form as a fireball she flies across the dark sky in search of a victim now that shit that shit is creepy as fuck and from what i'm told when they were telling the stories this was really really late at night and it was creepy as shit like shit you not like i did not want to sleep after this so we all had our little tents and stuff and fuck i lost my train of thought all right so they started telling the story and one key factor is you will know that she's nearby if you hear like a tea kettle noise you know when it's steaming and stuff like that so that itself flew like a red flag in my head and that was just like that's a no-go bro like if i hear something like that i am hitting the shoes i'm turning into flash i'm getting the fuck up out of there i'm gonna turn into iron man and fly the fuck away i ain't not i ain't with that shit so me being younger i was just like okay that, that doesn't sound that bad until later on in the night it started to get more creepy where we were just eating randomly and my uncle he was just getting food and my dad was right next to him and my uncle turns around and he's like yo what the fuck was that did you touch me and my dad my dad was just like no what what are you talking about and i was sitting right there i saw nothing touch him nothing at all he was just going to get food and this was around 3 a.m ish probably and if you guys don't know 3 a.m is the witching hour aka the devil's hour which is where all the creepy shit starts happening and bro let me tell you that is probably the worst time to be awake in my opinion i always force myself to go to sleep and i will never stay awake after that hour unless we're like it's like a gigantic group of us and we're not sleeping or anything like that and honestly that is such a creepy story just hearing it because you you picture an old lady and then she transform into like this young not young person but she just transforms into this regular person and you don't know what who is what you don't know if anything is the same I uh, I feel like it's probably one of the creepiest things just to ever hear or experience because late at night you're gonna be paranoid and stuff like that and when everyone was getting ready for bed I slept with my dad and my cousin and like everyone was like mad close to each other in the tents now well not in the tents but like outside the tents would be one after another one by one by one you know what i mean just like right next to each other and so me i go to sleep with headphones on and i was just watching youtube videos just like how i always do before i go to bed i'm always watching videos either like mr beast um i don't know pretty boy fredo stuff like that and so i hear like it was i remember this very 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 clear we were watching a how-to video to uh steam what was it crabs i think it was yeah i'm pretty sure it was crabs and me i i love seafood 
I'm, I always had a thing for seafood. And even when I was younger, I love fish, I love crabs, I love lobster, any type of seafood I'll eat, honestly. And I remember this so clearly because it, it still gives me shivers till this day. I remember when they were boiling the, um, I think they were boiling the water and you hear that steam, not the steam, you hear the kettle, the teapot noise, that little whistle. And right then and there, it struck me. I was like, wait, this is the same noise that they were talking about. But what I didn't realize, the video was paused and I was still hearing the tea kettle noise. So me being myself, I, I'm freaking out. I don't know what to do. And like, I hear walking, like, you know, the little grass noise when you hear someone walking and leaf, leaves crunching. That's exactly what I heard. So I'm freaking out even more. I'm just like putting the covers over my head, freaking out. And I'm just like, bro, everybody's asleep. What do I do? I don't, I, I, I'm confused. So I literally blasted music and forced myself to go to sleep. And during the next day waking up i told my dad i told told like legit all my cousins anyone that was there and they said that they heard it so i wasn't going crazy this was actually something now tell me how crazy is that that we talk about something exactly like this during our camp and that th the tea kettle noise just comes up out of nowhere like what what kind of coincidence is that there there has to be something around it and me personally i say this from time to time always 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 i always say something happens for a reason everything happens for a reason and i believe that if you keep talking about something like say it's um a recent incident that was something paranormal or something really odd that happens you're giving it energy, meaning you're wanting it to happen. You're bringing it towards you. Me, I'm not giving this energy. I'm just talking about my past experience as to what happened and why it happened. Like, well, not why it happened, but just sharing it with you guys because this just freaked me out. Like, it's still bothering me. And I li literally recently just saw, like, a vampire movie. I think it was, like, 30 Nights or something like that. Where it was just strictly nights only. It was a whole bunch of vampires. And it just gave me a thought. And I was just like, you know what? I might as well make this video. It just popped in my head. So with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Until next time, peace out.